Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 14 with our series here and check it out I know you guys can already see it in the background but that ladies and gentlemen that is our Mars and it's looking pretty good so we'll go ahead and take a look at the biosphere real quick you can see that I still got the two water races here we've got two available but I've gone ahead and maxed out all of these and I did have to go through and redo some of these because they they died off or whatnot so I've been messing with this the last few days now and you can see these are all heading on up to healthy I actually just made these guys these are all on their way to healthy and these are all healthy so we got a very well balanced ecosystem uh, we could do aquatic uh, if we wanted to but I'm not as concerned about the aquatic I think I like it just the way it is um, I could add more aquatic stuff but I don't think that really changes the surface of our planet either way our planet is looking uh, it's looking pretty green. We've got some desert area down here Then we've got some green definitely more of an arid world. I wouldn't call it so, so much of a lush planet, but You can see it's it's looking A little less like Mars and a little more like a planet that we could live on if we actually take a look here we can go through all the stats so everything's pretty well balanced if anything the only only thing that could happen is oxygen could go down a little bit um, yes, oxygen needs to go down for animals and humans to prosper. So this planet isn't perfectly perfect yet. I think oxygen is still plus two. Uh, to combat that, I would actually need to upgrade more of these oxygen filters to really drive that down. Oh, well, we can put it there anyways. I just want to take a look. So, oh, we actually got temperatures going up for some reason. Atmosphere is thickening. Is that because oxygen was going up? It's because pressure is going up. What's causing pressure to go up so much? Fissure vents. Interesting. So that's a little bit of a problem. And that means water's on the climb too. Well, it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to go ahead and actually spend our culture point here, which should catapult us into essentially victory. Or finish our planet off so it's not the most perfect planet I actually was on my way to a perfect planet the solar activity really disrupted me I could play with the numbers more and more and probably get a better planet but all in all I'm kind of happy with this and the planet's been going on for way too long now I think it's like 9,000 the year 9,000 or something ridiculous so it's just really far off into the future and um, I don't even know fully how it's going to calculate all of our points for the game here. These were our satellites, which came out well. We built the space elevator. I'm just kind of going through everything that we had. All of our colonies. This colony dropped down to 300, and I never really got a chance to put another. I don't even know what happened to what was originally here. I would have had to have destroyed one of these, and this would have really upset my ecosystem. This would have upset oxygen. There was, like, no good way to do this. So I kind of just left it alone. I'm surprised a fissure event show up. A sequestration plant would definitely offset some of that. Not a whole lot. And then look at our culture. It's fairly... Um, we put a lot of value into wealth. So a lot of financial growth, which you can see was reflected in how many credits we had. Uh, hurt our research speed, but as you can see near the end of the series, uh, we weren't really researching anything because there was nothing to research. So research speed was very trivial compared to financial growth. I find money in the game to be a little bit more difficult than research because research is something you got to wait for no matter what. Oh. And then population, we went for financial growth for that. Nothing there. And then construction speed a little bit towards industrial. Not a whole lot. So one culture point's available. We're going to spend it. Uh, five percent on independence and there we go it's a terrible looking Mars actually it's not bad it's all right oh boy uh, hey cool congratulations you've unlocked Venus as a playable world it's pretty important so independence it's been a long road but road but you have transformed the people of Mars from a handful of colonists into a thriving civilization 
Some 1,575,600 people now call Mars home, and more are arriving every day. With new forms of art and music and science and philosophy all unique to Mars, this former colony is finally taking its place as a primary world in our growing interplanetary society and a major player in the ever-evolving story of human history. You have shed the control of off-world powers, and at last the people of Mars are free to determine their own fate as a new self-declared people. Human life is still not possible on the surface, and the discussion of this planet's future will likely continue for generations. The introduction of plant life has been proceeding smoothly, and the biosphere continues to evolve and thrive. Who knows, perhaps one day humans will walk unaided along the beaches and through the forests of Mars. For now, strolling through the alien grasslands in your pressure suit, you can't help but marvel at how far Mars has already come. Under your leadership, the Horizon Corporation has become the foremost authority on interplanetary colonization. New colonies are springing up on world after world, each modeled on your... Um, plutoc- uh, politic- uh, oh my goodness. plutocratic system of government and industrial economy focused on economic growth. You've act- effectively settled the terraforming debate as well, encouraging terraforming efforts on other planets by your own example. A new chapter in the story of humanity is unfolding on Mars. Will you stay to continue it or move on to new worlds out among the stars? So uh, human life is still not possible. Not sure if you can get it possible. I would say yes, but I think that there's a few things we probably need to address. Obviously, we had increasing pressure. Oxygen could have been lowered a little bit. That would have been better for plants and human. I think it was the oxygen too high that made it a little um, harder to breathe. But all in all, it was a pretty well-developed Mars, and I really liked it a lot. Um, A lot of the reason I want to push the culture point through as well is because, like I said, even though we had a lot of years go up, I wanted to unlock Venus, which we went ahead and do. So if we actually go... Uh, I'm not going to play it anymore, so I just want to go. So if we actually click on play, we should be able to see Venus. And there's our Mars there. Looks pretty good. And here's our Venus. So Venus is going to be another planet I want to cover. I think it would be a lot of fun to do. But those of you who stuck around through the series and watched the whole thing, I definitely want to thank you guys for sticking it out. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast with it. If you'd like to see me play Venus or any other planet, please let me know down below in the comment section. I definitely would like to do some other ones. I think Venus would be a lot of fun. I think there's other, other ones like the moon or Mercury that would be fun as well. So yeah, I definitely want to hear what you guys think. I know that there's a couple other planets that you could play as well. There's different types of uh, moons of Jupiter, the moons of Saturn. You know, there's some cool stuff here. Some fictional planets. Oh yeah, those would be those would be really fun. Kind of freaky to play, actually. Um, what else do we got? Seven World Story campaign based on the real uh, Trappist One system. So there's a couple of different stuff. But yeah, definitely know um, or let me know what you guys think, and let me know what planets you'd like to see me try to terraform in the future. It'd be a lot of fun. But I want to thank you all for joining me for Terra Genesis. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>